What up dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome to another Wi-Fi battle in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today my opponent is using a really cool mono ice team, which is a lot of fun to see. I really enjoy these like um these theme teams. This person just had a handful of threats. And speaking of threats, they actually led with Cloyster here. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm not carrying Whirlwind on this set. This is my um body press iron defense set with hazards, which is really good versus King Gambit. But as it stands, Cloyster setting up turn one is a little too threatening, so I decided to break its sash with body press. And in hindsight, I probably could have put up rocks here and then just revenge killed with like Raging Bolt or something. But I didn't know if they had Ice Shard on this set either, so I actually opt to stay in. Um, take care of Cloyster so I don't have to worry about this thing anymore, but unfortunately that means I'm not going to get rocks this set. Which would have been so good versus Mono Ice. But it is what it is. This thing is way too threatening. I actually, um, I usually mess around with Cloyster every gen. And this one is no exception. I already got one already. And I'll definitely be showing up some Cloyster stuff in the near future here. But yeah, right here, uh, I believe they go out to their Alolan Ninetales. Which is so sick in shiny form. Like, look at this thing. It has, like, pink eyes. It's so dope. I really like their shiny. Yeah, I think this person had all the shiny Pokemon, which is pretty fun. But yeah, right here I click rocks on the chance that they click Aurora Veil, which I'm sure they would have went for here um, on this turn, but I'm actually Scarf on my Goldango set. Now, Goldango went off on, in this match. Too. He went hard. Like, he's a really good matchup, obviously. They're Mono Ice. But yeah, Scarf Goldango in this match was kind of my saving grace because um, whenever this thing comes out, it, it pretty much just gets a kill with Make It Rain. So I'm able to take care of the Alolan Ninetales here. So I deny a Veil for the rest of the game for my opponent. They actually do have a Bomb of Snow, which I believe carries a Veil. I could be wrong. Let me look that up. I'm curious. Bomb of Snow... Aurora Veil. Vale. Yeah, I believe so, huh? Out comes Mammoth Swine. This thing is a threat too, bro. You don't disrespect Mammoth Swine. This thing is insane. Yeah, unfortunately, like, my team is grounded at this point, so I had to go out to Fu. So, uh, my Alcremie isn't able to... Uh, show off anything this match sad face, but we'll get back to this mon. This set is really nasty I'm thinking about actually substituting leftovers for some kind of boosting berry with um grassy terrain And trying to make some things happen without creamy because this mon is freaking sick dude. That's actually my out creamy from um the, the previous playthrough Pokemon sword, bro. Yeah, that's actual foo. I like transferred them over which is really cool I love stuff like that. But yeah right here going out to my Hatterene I, dude, this set is hella whack. No attacking moves. <laughs> Healing Wish. Um, reflect. Light Screen. Yeah. I need to make something happen with this Mon, too. I really like uh, Hattery. Trick Room, too. I actually originally had Malamar on this particular team. So, that's what this thing is designed to do. Set up the screens. Get up the Trick Room. And then die. So, you can pass out to Malamar and start boosting. That was the original plan. But, I think I changed this team a little bit last second. But I'm able to get a Reflect up, which is good against uh, Mamoswine here. Let's see who I go out to next. I believe it's Roaring Moon. Yeah, go out to Roaring Moon. This thing could potentially be Sashed as well. I know a lot of Mamoswines uh, run Sash. So, I don't want to go out to Goldango and just lose it right away. So yeah, um, go out to Roaring Moon. I'm behind a Reflect. I'm thinking about Dragon Dancing here. But I'm not sure if they have Ice Shard, which they do. So if they did like um, Icicle Crash into Ice Shard, then I would have just lost Roin Moon right there. So I have to just knock off. I can see it's Assault Vest now. Right here, I click the Aerial Ace on the switch. On a potential switch. This person got a cool little setup, bro. The clothes are so limited in this game because you have to have a uniform or what I'm wearing right now. Obama Snow, the once well trained. This person got all the shinies. They all got titles. This is clearly all hacked. 
<laughs> like, there's no way all your mons got titles and are shiny. Like, come on, bro. Can you make it any more obvious? <laughs> but yeah, Aerial Ace and Swap. It's actually not too hard to um, get whatever nature and perfect IVs and EVs in this game. So, hacked mons, like, I don't even care, bro. Whatever. <laughs> like, who cares? I know some people would because, like, well, you put the time in. But it doesn't even take that long anymore anyway. I guess that's an argument for the other side. But I actually really enjoy, like training mons in this I, I like getting them to level 100 and and like uh giving them stats hey this thing's an uber by the way <laughs> this shouldn't be <laughs> i know it doesn't matter we're online so who cares booster energy iron bundle is such a threat to my team bro it's such a threat to my team oh my god i think the only way i can revenge this thing is go out to gold and go and uh make it rain yeah this yeah i believe that's what i do because Raging Bolt's priority isn't going to take this thing out. Even though it's, uh, Maybe it would have. Maybe Thunderclap was the play here, huh? Yeah, this thing is so fast. It actually outspeeds my max speed Scarfed Goldango. With Hydra. With with Booster Energy. <laughs> like, fuck, bro. <laughs> that thing's fast. That boy is moving. The Paradox Shinies are so ugly, bro. It's just, like, unpainted. <laughs> I really don't like the Paradox Shinies. My man's jumping. Look at him. He's like, go. Cold is so sick, dude. I love this mon. What a cool mon. Good ability, too. They're talking about bounding in. No, you. Oh, out comes uh, Kiram. Shiny Kiram. This one doesn't have a title. Maybe they aren't hacking their mons. I know you can get, like, a, a charm that makes it... You're more, more, more likely to get, like, a marked Pokemon. I'm not really sure. I think even... Even still, it's rare. I do have a marked shiny that I got from Arceus. It could have been from Arceus. Damn, Raging Bolt ate that, bro. Yeah, I had to uh, swap out to um, get my special attack back from my gold Dango. Yeah, that's right. Reflect was still in play. That's why that did zero damage. Right here, I'm going to opt to Terra. Um, and th Thunderclap for a bit of chip. Again, breaking that potential focus Ash. Uh, getting the chip I need so Goldingo can revenge kill with Make It Rain. Yeah, Raging Bolt looks so sick in this. Damn, bro. This mon is dope. But yeah, Thunderclap, bit of chip. Uh, Sash is broke. And actually, I eat another outrage, which I did not expect to because, um, yeah, just barely live. I have some HP investment on this thing. But yeah, because the reflect was down, I, I was sure it was going down or else I would have clicked Dragon Pulse. It's still good. I'm able to Thunderclap for uh, more chip here. They're locked in outrage. There is nothing they could do. So right here, Raging Bolt going to go down. And I'm uh, down to my final mon, which is Goldango. Yeah, this thing put in work versus this guy's team. Now, right here, I think the play for my opponent right here was to go out to, uh, no, actually, if they swap here and I get the special attack drop, I think Make It Rain will still knock out Kiram. I think that was their only play, honestly, because they could have swapped to Bomb Snow or uh, to Mamoswine. They could have swapped to uh, Mamoswine Dropped my special attack with Make It Rain and then potentially survived a hit with Kiram. And then maybe Earth Powered or something like that. But right here, they're actually banking on me going down to the Ice Shard. And they're also going to Terra their Mammoth Swine to um, boost the power of Ice Shard to get a little more chip there. So, yeah, right here I was sweating. I was like, because <laughs> I knew it was coming too. I was like, okay. Here it is. Got to wait through the animation to see if I'm actually going to survive this. Mammoth Swine is very strong. Right here, they Ice Shard. Boosted Ice Shard. And it actually does a decent amount, but it's not enough to take it off. So, Goldango is going to make it rain for the win. And that is going to be good game. But yeah, really fun match. Uh, really cool team from my opponent here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know uh, any mons you would like to see next. And I will see you on the next uh, battle. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Take care. 
big thanks to everyone on Patreon and YouTube members for helping out the channel.